Hey guys, it's Jeff from Filmora. Welcome to my kitchen. On this episode, we're gonna talk all about jump cuts. So now that we got the bacon all prepped, we're going to start making our bacon egg cup. And we're gonna do that with some awesome fancy jump cuts. Now the one tip I wanna recommend is when we place the bacon and the egg in there, you wanna get out of the light completely and fully just to give it a few seconds and that will be all helpful in post. All right, let's get to it. Jump cuts can be very abrupt, so it's a good idea to give your viewers a visual cue. In this case, I'm gonna simply snap my fingers. And now it's time for the ultimate jump cut. So, I just wanna see how it looks. Hey guys, it's Heidi. Jeff did a great job filming and now we get to bring it into Filmora. This is the funnest part. So what do you wanna do is open up Filmora. 16 by nine ratio, full feature mode. Or you wanna import all of your media. So once you got your media in there, you're gonna drag the clip that you want right into the timeline. The top timeline, not the PIP layer. So as I'm dragging my timeline marker across the clip, there's a lot of things that I don't wanna see in my video. It's a really long clip. It's about 13 minutes long and we just wanna crop that down into a couple minutes or even 30 seconds. So you wanna to drag to the spot of your first clip that, where you want the video to start and the footage you wanna see. So here's where I want to see. So I'm just gonna drag until the hands are out of the clip and the shadows and boom, that's where I'm gonna make my first split. So I right click and I hit split. You can also hit control B. And I'm just gonna select that whole beginning of the clip there that's about two minutes or so and I'm just gonna hit delete or right click delete and that's gonna be the beginning of my clip. Now if I hit play, the beginning of the clip is just this piece of bacon and then we see his hand come in again. So what we wanna do is make sure there are no clips of Jeff's hand in this video. So once you get to the spot where his hand's just about to come in, make another split and then move the timeline marker till just after his hands leave the screen. Right there. So we'll make, make another split. We'll delete that clip in between. Now, as you can see, if we played it, right click on your clip to delete it or you can hit the delete key. Now if we go back to the beginning, we can see when we play it that um, our clip starts from a piece of bacon in spot number one and then another piece of bacon appears in spot number two. And this is exactly what we wanna do. So let's continue on. When we see hands again, that's where we're gonna make another split. And then we're gonna watch him put the bacon in and after that's all done and the bacon's sitting in there looking nice and pretty, that's when we say, let's make another split. And it's gonna look like the bacon is just magically appearing. And again, that's exactly what we're going for. So we're just gonna continue to drag along the timeline until we see his hands entering the picture and that's when we're gonna split our clip and remove all of the places along your clip where his hands appear. So we only have footage of little bacon bits appearing in our muffin tray. 
So this will probably take me several minutes and it's gonna be a bit of a long and tedious job, but it's what we need to do to get all of the clips or parts of the clips that we don't want removed out of our uh, video. So we're gonna leave the rest of these clips here that we just made because we wanna export them all at the same time. And we're gonna drag our timeline marker until we see Jeff's hand uh, making a snapping movement. So we're gonna use this snap as a transition into another clip where it shows the tray of bacon. So I'm looking for um, a clip of him snapping. Okay, so basically just pick one that you like. I wanna make sure also that I can see the waveforms down here on the audio bar because I wanna keep the audio of the sound of his fingers snapping. So it's kind of hard to see, but right here, there's a little bit of an increase, a little mini mountain happening in the audio waveform, and that is sound information. So we know that sound is happening at that spot. So this one looks like it has the highest little mountains. So it probably has captured the sound of the snapping the best or the loudest. So that's the snap I want. So I'm gonna isolate this clip by cutting it out from the rest of the clip. So before we start on the second section, I just want to make sure that right after he snaps his fingers, I don't have any of this extra footage of bacon sitting around with nothing happening. We're just going to cut right after the snap, split that clip there, delete it, and then we're going to add the second piece of footage in, and we want to look like, we want to make it look like after the snap, eggs appeared in the tray. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go and find another snap for when our eggs ma magically transport into the oven. So we just want a small clip of the eggs sitting in the tray, and we're gonna split that. And then we're gonna drag along the timeline, looking for a snap that we like. And again, we want the, the bacon and eggs in focus and his hand out of focus. So here looks good. We're gonna delete that clip there. We're gonna go right into the snap. And again, we want that tight cut right after the snap. We wanna split the clip. And then we wanna find the place on the clip where the eggs are going into the oven. So we've got the first snap, eggs appear, the second snap, end of clip. Okay, so now that we've got all of our clips ready and in the order that we want, we're gonna export the video. We're going to name it whatever you want. I'm naming it Bacon and Egg Goodness. I'm gonna make sure that I save it to the location that I want, which for me is on my desktop. Under settings, I'm gonna make sure the quality is at best. The frame rate is at 23.97 frames per second, and this is because I shot the video at 23.97 frames, so that needs to match. Uh, the resolution is 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna hit OK, and then I'm gonna hit Export. Okay, that's the sound that it makes when it's done exporting. Let's go over to the desktop. So there's our video on the desktop. Double click on it, let's have a watch. And that's it, that's how you do a jump cut. Back to you, Jeff. Don't forget to bacon. Bacon, bacon, and bacon. We'll see you bacon. All about down.
jump cuts.